The UK pound has hit a record low compared to the dollar after Kwasi Kwarteng and Liz Truss' new mini budget got announced. Will a collapse in pan result in a collapse in property market? If you're curious to know the answer to this, stick around in this video because we're gonna discuss some of the effects this could have on the property market and us as property investors. But before we discuss that and effects, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the algorithms out. But let's get into this. So it's an up and down roller coaster, the, the, the Forex markets, but sterling was up 1.1% this morning. This is on time recording, this is Thursday. So Monday, it dropped to a record low of 0.35%. And according to the Times, it's up to 1.079%. So it has had a little jump back up and a little rally back up, but it is a record all time low against the dollar. When you think about it, when we come out of World War II, the pound was about four times of a dollar. I remember as a kid, it was about two times of the dollar. At the moment, it is pretty much like for like. So this has an effect. I'm actually about to pay one of my VAs that is in the Phil not in the Philippines, in Venezuela, in dollars. So I'm literally like one of the bonuses of paying somebody in dollars before was if they charge five dollars an hour, I actually got that a little bit cheaper on the exchange rate. Now I'm paying pounds for that pretty much. So it, it cost it pushed the cost up for me instantly just in that one little small scenario. But let's have a look. This is in the Guardian, so it says huge tax cuts announced by the government sent the pound to a record low against the dollar. We explain why and what happens. Markets warn uh, interest rates could triple in the next year. So this is one of the effects it could have, and we'll talk more on this at the moment, more on this in the moment, should I say. I'm not gonna talk too much about interest rates, but one of the reasons the responses and the mini budget they had to the mini budget was because of interest rates and inflation. So you can watch some stuff about inflation and the mini budget here, a video I've done on that here. But carry on watching now because the videos will be suggested in your description below as well. And all the articles I'll get this information from will be in the description below if you want to read the full articles. But uh, what is a currency crisis basically? So it, the Guardian goes on to say, when uh, foreign exchange markets turn against a currency, the value of the country's currency begins to plummet. For instance, Turkey's currency is worth about 40% less than the US dollar than last year after trade traders were spooked by rising annual inflation by more than 70%. That is ridiculously hyperinflation. Again, caused by printing of money. I won't go into much depth on, on this, but let's go on with uh, this article from The Guardian. What does this mean for the UK? A weak pan means prices price rises in the UK consumer who buy foreign goods, and it means their money won't go as far for travel, US uh, to travel to US countries, or even in Europe against uh, the Euro, it's gonna be affected, it's down against all currencies. And again, if you trade anything in dollars like I do, I pay my my VAs who work in Philippines and Venezuela in dollars, it's gonna cost me more money to just pay those. But one of the big effects it goes on in this article to say is, oil oh, is one of the key goods Britain's imports in price in international commodity markets, and they do that in dollars as well. A weak pound will mean thin up the car of diesel and petrol will become more expensive. Gas is also priced in dollars. We've already got a push upwards on the price of fuel. We've already had a push upwards on the price of gas. Look, we had announced way before the war in Ukraine, but that's added to it. The war in Ukraine is massively added to that. So the big question on our lips at the moment is what are the government going to do about this? So the next step, the Guardian goes on to say, the next step is likely to be taken by the Bank of England, which could uh, raise interest rates by more than the previously expected. In a possible bank, in, it's possible the bank might announce an emergency increase before the next scheduled decision on the 3rd of November. So they've just increased it from two, Point two point two five percent, uh, all the way up to two point two point five percent, up from one point seven five percent. You can watch a video on that where I talk about that here. But overall, the burning question for all property investors, I'm getting asked this every day. So I'm a property investor myself. Is what will this? What, what effects will this have on the property market? Obviously, the obvious effect is if interest base rates are going up, your mortgages prices are going to go up. And make sure you stay around to the end because I'm going to give you some solutions as well, a couple of steps, what you want to do to combat this because you've got to be in this. Leaving money in the bank is definitely not an option at the moment. But look, this is according to an article in by association. This says the falling pound versus the UK property. So from property investments perspective, some UK based buyers will inevitably begin to feel the pinch due to the cost of living crisis, the rise in energy prices. However, for investors based overseas, the falling pound is likely to provide 
added incentive to invest in the UK. So this makes it much more attractive. If the pans look cheaper, it makes it more attractive for overseas buyers to buy. Uh, this is because uh, those that are buying from abroad will find the UK homes considerably cheaper than they are during times of strong sterling performance. Add this to the fact that the UK housing market continues to perform extremely strongly throughout recent adversity creates further confidence in the sector. So what people are going to be looking to do is get their money into safe asset classes. And you've got to think some of these overseas investors are not worried about the mortgage rates. They're just buying cash and park it into a safe asset where they think the government and legal system is pretty strong alongside the fact that the pand, they, they're getting a discount because the pand is so weak. What we learned from history from this goes on to say, one notable notable occasion when values of pound fell considerably was the aftermath of Brexit's vote. One report in 2017 from the investing platform Homegrown showed that foreign investors from Russia and South Africa were enjoying discounts on UK housing of around 21% compared to buying pre, uh, pre the announcement of the Brexit uh, decision. That said, is Russian money going to come in? No, with all these sanctions at the moment, you're not going to get so much Russian money. There's a lot of eyeballs around dodgy money coming into the UK and a lot of sanctions going on. So that's probably might dampen that a little bit, but there's a lot of abroad money that's going to look to get into the UK, get into a safe asset class. Think about it, 21% discount is like buying BMV, like negotiating and adding, like doing work and adding to it. They're just getting a discounted at 21% last time with Brexit for just literally buying with the pan being weaker. It, this goes on to say, meanwhile, those in the EU were on average able to realise a discount of around 16% on properties in the UK as a result of the falling pound. According to Home, and it goes on, sorry, to say as well, according to Homegrown's uh, founders at the time, uh, the increased appetite from overseas buyers was an indication of the inevitable value of property uh, market. And look, at the moment, there's, this, this does goes on to say as well, even while other parts of the economy react, uh, as, as can be seen with historical performance data, the country's housing market can represent one of the most stable areas to invest in higher levels of foreign, with foreign demand. And that's for UK people, even if your interest rate is being reduced, even if the return on your capital is not quite as strong, you've still got to compare that to having your money stuck, stuck in the bank. And the property prices still got an upward inflationary pressure on them that could still pay off. The people that stay in this game will win this ultimately. If you just sit on the sidelines and watch, Maybe you might have a reduced income compared to what you was earning if you'd done this a year ago, two years ago, but reduced income is better than no income and your money you're rolling in the bank. I'm firm on that decision. But also, this is going to benefit expats as well. So this article goes on to say, British expats too become particularly keen to invest in the UK to make the most of the falling pan, according to the report. This is, could be uh, another thing that fuels it a little bit more. I work, I'm a coach and I work with a lot of expats and they moan because their interest rate is going to be higher. But they, like, if, you're, if you're in Dubai, for example, you're paying no tax and you're going to get a better exchange rate. So the, you have to then balance up. Okay, the interest rate's a little bit higher, but the fact that I'm buying it a lot cheaper, I'm getting this massive discount because the pan's so much lower, that can recompensate itself out. And then again, as long as you've got strong money coming in to ride out this little storm, because this is a storm, this will come back down. The time it takes to come back down, nobody knows. But if you can ride this out and you still buy and own assets throughout that time, you'll come out the back end of this really positioned well. This is why you get massive wealth shift transfers within recessionary times. The wealth just shifts from people that don't really know how to handle it or people that's lucked out in the markets when they've been strong to the people that will know how to navigate these markets and handle that a lot better. This article finished off by saying there's a huge shortage of properties in the UK and while prices have dropped in the prime areas of London, other areas of the UK are looking more attractive. So with the pass of the deal, the leveling up the playing field, a lot more people are investing around the country. If you want to learn how to do that, watch this video because I'll show you different areas I invest in in the country. I invest remotely myself for that reason. But as property investors, what are we going to do about it? How can we battle this? So there's two main things you should be doing at the moment. Buying properties, if you can buy cash, great to buy cash. If you buy low yield, high yield and low purchase price properties, that's what's gonna drive you through this. Ones that can protect the downside. So one's got a little bit of margin in them to protect rate rises because they're looking like they are on the up at the moment. And also one that can be protected, like you can get long-term tenants in there so there's no vulnerability within ups and downs, voids, and you can be covered by housing benefits. And also, if you are gonna get mortgages, make sure you stick yourself on long-term fixed rates. So at the moment, what I'm doing is a free workshop how to help people to do this find the area help people how they can then find the deals and they can fund the deals and they can do the refurbishments all from any part of the country so you can 
you can take advantage and capitalize on this opportunity that's in the north at the low cost price has is at the moment which i feel are going to have an inflationary pressure upwards where the price ra earnings ratio is more more in alliance so check the de description out below for that and remember listen what you've got to keep on doing is evolving what you're doing involving your ideas so if you don't involve your ideas you're never living on your own terms so if you've not done it already please hit the subscribe button please hit that bell icon so you get notified hit the thumbs up really helps the algorithms remember you don't involve your ideas you never live on your own terms so evolve your ideas live on your own terms have an amazing day make sure you watch the video that youtube suggesting as well for you now